Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you're ready for some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. All right, so we're about halfway through the train day and AMC is currently red. Down a little bit today, around 3% as of now. Pre-market was looking decent, up around a percent. But more or less, it just seems like a little bit of consolidation, a little bit of red before AMC goes ahead and reaches that next leg up. First off, looking at the trading volume on the day so far, we're, we are currently underneath 40 million in total trading volume, so it is lower than what we've seen over the last few days. There, of course, still is some time left, though, in the day. Who knows what can happen? Taking a look at the orders by Fidelity customers, these are all the top buys and sells on Fidelity. We see AMC at number three today with 5,452 buy orders versus 3,829 sell orders. So almost about double the amount of buy versus sell, which proves that the retail investors on a day like today are buying AMC and or holding it more than they're selling it. So there is some downward pressure in AMC today. It could be some more shorting from the hedge funds, but overall, like I said, it looks like some normal consolidation. Another thing to take into account for is the dark pool trading. There has been 12,497,825 shares traded off exchange so far today. This was as of like an hour ago. This equates to 584,105,167 in notional value. 55.87% of total AMC volume has executed off exchange. Only 44.13% of AMC volume has executed on exchange. Next up, taking a look at the short interest report via Ortex. AMC short interest currently 16.91%. Utilization 92.08% and shares on loan 105.34 million. And it seems like over the last few weeks, more or less, we've been hovering around that 17% short interest, maybe up a little bit, down a little bit, but still hovering. The shorts have still not covered. Next up, this is an important post that I came across on the Reddit today. It says, I set my alarm for 100K. I don't care if AMC hits 50 tomorrow. I don't care if it hits 500 tomorrow, nor $20. I'm so numb to this. Let me know when we're past 100K. Then I'll start watching again until 801,000. Now, this Reddit post could probably not explain my personal emotions any better. And it really does feel like overall in the community, everyone seems to be pretty numb to the moves at this point. You're not seeing as much fear on red days. You're not seeing as much cheering on green days. It really seems like the community is sort of numb to it, which is extremely scary for the hedge funds that are holding short positions. I know for me personally, if I was on the other side of the table holding short positions, I, I would be very, very concerned about the lack of flinching that we are seeing across the retail investor side of things. It feels like the retail investors don't really care either way and are just waiting for the short squeeze to begin. And lastly, 100 million in losses in today's pre-market so far. Ortex tweeted out just a few hours ago. AMC short interest update. There are currently 4.26 billion worth of short positions in AMC. 4.26 billion. These positions have caused losses over 1.2 billion for short sellers since the start of last week. Just today in pre-market, short sellers have lost 100 million. Yesterday losses were 336 million. The AMC retail investors are winning so far. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video if you're still holding on to any shares of AMC. Let's see how many of you guys are still out there. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join our private exclusive Discord server if you want to trade with me and other investors live. Thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.